Then the destination is on your right. We're so cute together. Look how cute we are. Okay, so as many of you know, we have been. <laughs> Kaden's in the back seat and he just burped. Okay, so as many of you know, we have been trying to have another baby. It has been a total of eight months now, and we are kind of impatient and wanting some answers. So today is our first visit to a fertility clinic. How are you feeling? excited and nervous yeah we're like really excited because we want to see what they're gonna say it's just a consultation appointment today um but we're also nervous just because we've never done this before I'm just, it's just like a huge question it's mark. like it's kind of like a relief too because it's like yeah. finally we've been waiting to finally figure out what's going on and now we're gonna go and get a pretty good insight and some answers from a doctor someone that's oh professional in this work and then hopefully they can help us out with our situation i don't think we have a situation i hope not but i just i want to find out just hopefully our safe. timing is off or something small like yeah, that but small. so i went and got all my paperwork like this is all my gynecology information and it's like really heavy do you see this babe how much paperwork that is so i'm gonna give it to them and be like here's everything you need to know about me and babies and all that business so i hope they actually look through it, you know. Mama, what? Tomorrow? Yeah. That's like, a right, big... Mama, look at it. It's like really heavy. Yeah, yeah baby. Uh, tomorrow you're gonna get your baby or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet, baby. We'll see. Okay, they're gonna tell us and hopefully give us some answers and see when we can get a baby in Mama's belly. Hey, okay. Do you want a brother or a sister? A sister. That's right. Okay, so we're back in the car. We went to the wrong building. They have two different uh, buildings. It's my fault. I guess I probably just clicked the wrong building. So this one is like 10 minutes away. So I thought while I'm driving, I'll give you a little recap. If you remember in the other vlog that we had posted, it was um, when are we having baby number two? I'll leave the iCard in the corner of the screen if you want to watch that one where we first started talking about that we were ready to have a second baby. Um, I said that I got my birth control taken out in January and I had the Mirena IUD and so it's been eight months since I've had the Mirena out and been completely off birth control and now us going to the wrong building makes us even more nervous now like I'm sweating <laughs> he's sweating we're hungry we didn't bring anything to drink or thirsty so we're just trying to yeah, get here now I, I have, have your water. water I have your water baby he said oh I forgot my water are you thirsty <laughs> Okay, yeah. so here we go. Look at that park job. He is all on the line. <laughs> Look at your park job, babe. You're all on the line. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Brianna Davis. something to eat after this, okay? So. <laughs> we're in the office, we're waiting for the doctor to come in. So, I mean, that's not anything I'm worried about. I'm talking okay. about pages for 39 and 40, the woman, I have to say, these are the rates at that age. Mm -hmm. This chart, I'm like, man, this is a really odd couple. They should be pretty Right, yeah. yeah. So that's obviously where it's frustrating. That's why we're here. Yeah. yeah. Because we're young and it's like, oh, uh, why is there something going on? Yeah. yeah. And I know it hasn't been long. I know there's couples that try for years and years, but like I already told you, like, he's deploying and we're like, oh my we're gosh. <laughs> we want to expand this family. We want to have a lot more kids. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, and that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, female labs, you know, kind of circles some things on the back there. There's a female imaging study. And there's, of course, the male semen analysis. We'll talk about testing in a second here. Then we'll talk about treatment options, which is getting way ahead of the game. I mean, okay. I just tell you that so you all see the big picture here. Yeah. It comes treatment options. When I say mm -hmm. nudge or push and all that, we're not deciding any treatments <coughs> today. Okay. We still have to do tests. I just mm -hmm. want you to see the big picture as a couple. Okay. Right? And then, of course, most couples have to do the most natural thing, less aggressive, less expensive, less on your body kind of thing. Okay. Time, do you have any questions before we talk about tests? Anything? Any comments? Questions about anything? No. 
and stop me. I talk a lot. Should I say no, that? you're doing I think we're ready for tests. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're keeping up with you. You good? <laughs> Plenty of women who have not exactly the same menstrual length every every month. Okay. They have this variation sometimes. It really doesn't mean much ultimately as far as pregnancy rate. Okay. I mean, progesterone levels after ovulation. I mean, you have, it sounds like, at least 11 days of luteal phase after you ovulate, if you have a positive kit, to where you have a period. If it's 11 days or greater, that's 11 days luteal phase, then that's plenty of Yeah, the shortest one I've had was is 12. Shortest yeah. luteal phase? Okay, mm -hmm. so you got plenty of yeah. progesterone. That's, okay. So that's good to hear. I'm glad you tracked that. And those are your three blood tests. That if you went to the lab today or tomorrow, whenever, fasted, non fasting doesn't make a difference. Okay. You go right after this and you go next week, whenever. Okay, and when cool. your lab's drawn, we call you back the results two, three days later. That's all. Awesome. Our results back, mm -hmm. sperm are per milliliter. And we want to see 20 million per milliliter or greater. Um, percent motility, and particularly, not just motility, because motility refers to any movement. The sperm's movement in any way possible, whether it's shimmying, turning in circles, going a straight line forward. Just moving. Okay. So Caden had to go to the bathroom, and this is the paper that he's going over with us right now whole bunch of testing and stuff that they want to do. Okay, so they want me to have some blood work drawn to check some hormone levels, so I'm gonna get some blood work drawn. So they drew my blood. They are going to look at my prolactin and my hormones. And then they should get that by today and then they're gonna give me a phone call back and with the results and whatnot. Um, we really like that doctor. Did you like him? He's very knowledgeable. Yeah, he knew a lot. Very. He was like super nice and listened to all the questions. All about the patient, like he was, Super great he was guy. Cool. I really like him a lot. And his name is Dr. Oh, I don't know if I should say his name. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Doc yeah. Doc Dr. Kobusi. That's Dr. right. Yeah, yeah. His name. His Dr. Kobusi. Dr. Kobusi. And we call our That's dog we call Kobusi. Our dog. So we're like, this is meant to be. Yeah. So, um, what now? Oh, so, I had my I had the camera in my lap a lot of the times because I didn't want to put it directly on him and there wasn't really anywhere I could set it like so that you could see all three of us talking. So we're super excited. Once that comes back, then they're gonna have him do a semen analysis. That's that, yeah. Fine. I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to play that by ear with my job because you know, I mean, I don't know how many viewers actually are in the military know what the military are like, but it's kind of hard to get off. So if. Uh, yeah. Not with the semen analysis, but but with work, with work. So I'm gonna kind of oh have to God, play it by ear. Oh my God! I hope there's no kids watching this video. But anyway, Sorry. so yeah, so they want us to. Basically, what he said is he wanted me to have this blood work done so that we could check the hormones. I guess I'm gonna on. Okay, so that we can see that, so that we can have that, this blood work done to see the hormones, and then they want him to have the semen analysis, and then if I start my period, because I'm supposed to start it. Um, like somewhere around the first or somewhere like that. If I start my period, they want me to come in where they do and they put that iodine inside me and they do like the ultrasound that way. It's so like an those, imaging, imaging yeah, test. Imaging. Yeah. So those are the next steps. So we're super excited. Are you yeah, excited, baby? I am, baby. Mm. Now we're hungry and we gotta get home because Ko is at home. We're an hour and a half away from home. So let's go eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hungry, baby. Very starving. <laughs> And you guys, Kaden was so good the entire time. I said, sit, you have to sit, you have to put your iPad and your earphones on. So, cause I don't know if they really allow kids in there, but so we just kind of brought Kaden, like we didn't say nothing if you, do you guys allow kids, but we just brought him and he was so well behaved. So he's gonna have to get some kind of super duper prize today. <laughs> cause that kid behaved himself. Like the doctor was like, hi, what's your name? And he was like on his iPad. I was like, but hey, Say your name. And Mama he's like, said to be quiet. Mama said to be quiet, but <laughs> he did so good. I'm so proud of him. Okay, we have finally made it home. And Kaden, oh, Tyler just said that he's in the bathroom. Kaden got an Xbox and he's playing Minecraft and he loves it. We don't know anything about Minecraft, so Whoa. let us know in the comments if you know anything about Minecraft Please. and if a four year old can play it because we're struggling right now. <laughs> Looks like you just break down tree trunks and break down stuff. Oh gosh, she's touching all types he of plays, He plays 2K. He's been playing 2K lately. And I mean, I've been thinking about setting him up on Black Ops, but I don't know. <laughs> we all know that that game is way too mature for him to play. Space. We had to leave our poor Kobu here for like, look, he don't like the camera. He's like, get the camera off me, mom. Kobu. Kobu, we left you here for like three hours, honey. And you, oh! <laughs> and he did so good. He didn't pee or do anything. He was a good boy. Mama, what? I'm a, yeah? I'm a, I'm a different team. What team are you? Um, I am the 
Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. The Pistons. Yeah. What's this? You guys, my house right now consists of video games, and that is it. Like, he's playing video games. He's playing video games. I'm all nerded out with the headset. Everybody's playing video games. So what am I gonna do? Yes, I don't know. Maybe I should watch a movie or something. It's just a chill day for the rest of the day now. Is that okay that we're just gonna chill the rest of the day today? Well, I'm not gonna chill because I'm playing my game. Oh, do you like it? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Okay, cool. Good. You're doing good. Fresh good. Good night, baby. Good night. Thank you for being such a good, sweet boy today at my doctor's appointment. You were so sweet, okay? Okay. I love you. I, I even said hi. Yes, you did. <laughs> Sorry, Google. Poor Kobe. Give me a kiss. Good night, my handsome. You so, me I just crazy. want to say something. So, um, I recently had dental work done. <laughs> I want my wisdom teeth taken out and then they left a root tip down in my the little canal So it was like down here a week later after my wisdom teeth removal I had the root tip removal and that really swelled my face my, That really swelled my face up What I miss is that right? I'm just kidding. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, so his face it really is a swole, little, swole my it's face a little up. swollen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to say thank you to everyone who is watching. Yeah, and I know some people are probably like, why did they want to share this stuff? Like, it's so personal, but it's important to us because we just want to document yeah. our lives. And when the, when we do have a baby, <clears throat> and they this baby up. will know how much we wanted this baby and what we went through to have another baby. And also, I mean, like, if there's anybody else out there that's watching this right now and... Yeah, you somebody need some, can learn from us. Yeah, and you yeah. need some like encouragement to seek the help that we're doing. Always, you leave it in the comments if you want to talk offline. Like, add us on Facebook, Instagram. Hit us up. Twitter. Just yeah, kidding. No, we don't have Twitter. We don't tweet. We don't tweet. <laughs> you know what? Right now, stop. Hit that red button. Subscribe button. Subscribe. Subscribe to our <laughs> channel, please. Oh, okay. And make sure you hit that bell. So that you get notified every time we post a ding video. Okay, so like I said, that's all for today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.